you know, so the experiences we have gained as mining engineers will definitely come handy. Since both conditions and concepts are similar, the methodology of surface crumpler thickness determination has been used in, in sublevel stoping, for example. We do have methodology for determination of the crumpler thickness. Then on the basis of selected parameters, the main model is established by dimensional analysis. Considering the most important aspects of crown pillars between open pit and block caving and the available methods in relation to surface crown pillar, the most effective parameters or our variables in here are going to be block span and height, that is block dimensions in block caving method. Dimensions of the block are the most important parameters in any design. We really know, even before we knew, I knew before even doing this, that the dimensions were going to be the most important. What I didn't know however, was which one was going to be more important, the span or the height. That is the base of the block, the dimensions of the base of the block, or the height. And RMR, of course, in any block chain method, discontinuities, the strength, all the variables which affect capability of the material, of the mineral, of the ore, is very important. RMR, discontinuities and their characteristics, uniaxial compressive strength and the groundwater pressure are reflected in geomechanics as RMR classification. That's what we are going to use in here at RMR, and a few other things, cohesion strength, a supposedly important parameter that could affect the crown pillar stability, and specific weight of the rock mass. Another one that these five are chosen to be our important parameter or our variables. This table only shows that what we have said, effective parameters, thickness, block span, block height, RMR, cohesion, strength, and specific weight of production, sigma R. And Block span in here, we mean the width, not the length of the base of the block. If the block has the base which is square, of course there's only one dimension. But if it is rectangle, then the, the width, the width of the base, not the length. The crown floor thickness is assumed to be a function of these variables. Since we decided that these five variables are going to be the determinants of our crown floor thickness, therefore the thickness T is a function of SH, RMR, C, and C. And to specify the relationship between the independent and dependent variables of the problem, this is transformed into the equation, very simple function of Ts, H, R, M, R, C, and sigma R is equal to zero. Adopting the force system, as we said before, for the expression of the dimension, the dimensional values for each variable are shown in this table. T, the per meter, the length, therefore. S, H, the whole length, L, RMR, dimensionless. And C, F, L, to the power minus 2, etc. These are the dimensions of our variables. 
In order to make a dimensional matrix, the variables should be arranged as in this table. All our variables are at the top, T, S, H, R, M, T, S, H, R, M, and F, L, T are the dimensions of the force system. All the numbers, as you can see, are exactly according to the previous table. The dimensional matrix. The determinants of the right section of the dimensional matrix is calculated and equated to zero. This is a known methodology. Where when the determinant of this matrix is zero, on the basis of Buffington's theorem, the following equation can be we require n in here, which is the number of dimensionless products, and we do have n and k, which simply becomes n is equal to n. 6 minus 2 is 4. Now, the homogeneous <coughs> linear algebraic equation can be derived from the dimensional matrix. From the dimensional matrix, these two equations are derived. Now, all we have to do now is to solve these simultaneous equations which we do by putting values for k1 to k4 and calculating the values of k5 and k6, which gives us the matrix of responses, as in this table. Matrix of responses. And in this way, we get the four independent dimensionless products as pi 1, pi 2, pi 3, and pi 4. Therefore, the independent dimensionless products can be written as pi r. All these, which is a function of all these four, is equal to 0. Uh, by that, we know. there's one thing else. We, another thing we have to decide is we now have to choose the equation type, either linear or nonlinear. The formula for both of them are here, and experience shows us that nonlinear equations fit situations like this better than linear. Therefore. We have the nonlinear equation, and after making slight simplification, we have this at the bottom of the page. And therefore, in this way, this formula is derived. It is obtained that determines the optimal thickness of the crown pillar between open pit and underground mining in the case of block shaping method being used. This is our basic one. The only thing is that it has some value, some uh, variables in it, new variables A, B1, B2, and B3, which we don't have. And we are going to find them by using some real examples, some uh, case case studies, some real cases in four different places in the world. 